Do you need a cybersecurity certificate to get a job in cybersecurity? And what are the best cybersecurity certificates online? These are the questions that we'll be answering in today's video. And the first question I want to cover is whether or not you actually need a certificate to get a job in cybersecurity. So personally, I think in most cases, getting a cybersecurity certificate will definitely increase your chances of getting hired for entry level or any cybersecurity role in general. Cybersecurity is one of the fields in technology that really put a heavy emphasis on certifications, certificates, any online programs that you do. And you can probably already see this based on the cybersecurity job listings. If you look at any of them from entry level to more senior roles, they typically are going to look for popular certifications like the Security Plus, the CISSP, the CISM, the OSCP, lots of different certifications for different types of areas and niches in cybersecurity. But that is also another way that people end up growing their career or pivoting into different areas in the cybersecurity space. So definitely a big emphasis on certificates compared to other areas in technology like software engineering where certifications aren't as emphasized. So while I do know people who have gotten into cybersecurity without a certificate, I do think that it'll highly increase your chances of getting hired into cybersecurity or at least getting that interview, getting a call back from the recruiter and just increasing your odds when you're competing against other candidates, especially those who do have certificates. That may be something that the hiring manager is looking for or they may choose certain candidates with of certifications over others who may not have any. So as a complete beginner, if you don't have any previous cybersecurity work experience, especially, getting a certificate is a pretty easy route to go to add a qualification onto your resume to help you stand out against other candidates. And not to mention that most cybersecurity certificates also give you that foundational cybersecurity knowledge. For example, when I was studying for my CompTIA Security Plus when I was in my early career, this certification was the one that really gave me that background knowledge for cybersecurity that I didn't have because I originally came from an IT background and really didn't have as much cybersecurity foundations as my other peers. So that I already think is one of the biggest reasons to get certified in cybersecurity. And there are lots of popular certifications out there that you can choose from. And in this video, we'll also be covering the top three certifications that I'll recommend for beginners coming from no cybersecurity background with no previous experience. Most cybersecurity jobs are going to have some kind of preferred or required qualifications for their candidates. And typically certifications are going to be listed along with any other technical skills that they're looking for. And the number one certification that I recommend to beginners is typically going to be the CompTIA Security Plus. This is one of the most popular entry-level cybersecurity certifications out there. And it also happens to be one of the most popular that HR and recruiters look for in their candidates when they're hiring for those entry level or early career roles. There are other certifications that are relatively entry level and newer that I've seen and I'm sure you may have also heard of as well, but one of them is the ISC2 Certified in Cybersecurity Certification, aka the CC certification that we'll also be discussing in this video. But I will say that if you're looking at entry level or early career cybersecurity job listings, you'll most likely see the Security Plus certification as a preferred or required qualification over every other cybersecurity certification just because it's the most popular and it's honestly been around the longest. I have many videos covering the Security Plus in depth as well as how I studied for it and passed it, so I'll link those down in my description as well. But if you are just starting out, I also typically recommend looking into cybersecurity bootcamps. And the one that I recommend on my channel is the Springboard Cybersecurity Bootcamp that has a money back guarantee. This is one of the biggest reasons I recommend this bootcamp because if you qualify, you can enroll into the Springboard Cybersecurity Bootcamp. And after you complete the program, if you don't find a job within a certain amount of time, you get your money back and you basically have nothing to lose. So it's definitely a great option for anyone who is just starting out. And of course, another plus is the fact that it prepares you for the CompTIA Security Plus certification. This would also be a great way to get a cybersecurity bootcamp and cybersecurity certification onto your resume as you're starting out in your career to really help add on to the qualifications on your resume, especially covering all the technical concepts, hands-on projects, and mentorship that you'll be getting throughout the cybersecurity bootcamp that will allow you to learn all the core skills that a cybersecurity analyst needs. You'll put into practice your skills by analyzing cyber incidents and assessing operating systems for risks and threats. The industry-leading cybersecurity curriculum gives you real-world context of cybersecurity attacks with 50 hands-on labs and a capstone project, core competency and cybersecurity skills to help you prepare for your CompTIA Security Plus certification with 100% online self-paced learning, which allows you to learn at your own schedule and at your own pace. You'll also receive personalized mentorship from industry professionals offering career guidance, feedback, and support tailored to whatever your career goals and needs are. And under their tuition money-back program, if you don't find a job with 
within the cybersecurity field within six months of course completion, you get your tuition money back guaranteed. You can also get $1,000 off the entire bootcamp using my code with Sandra, and I'll include the link in my description below. And of course, it's really helpful to know that with all the time and money that you're investing into this program, if you aren't able to find employment in cybersecurity after graduating from the bootcamp, you'll get your full tuition money back, which really removes a layer of risk when enrolling into the bootcamp. And as part of the Springboard Career Support, you'll get access to a mentor and a career coach who will really be there to help fully support you as you go through the program, help you with any questions or blockers, as well as answer any questions about the job search process or anything else that may come up during the course of the bootcamp. And by the way, I've done a previous interview for a graduate of the Springboard Cybersecurity Bootcamp, and I can link that down below. The person I interviewed was originally a teacher and was looking to make a career pivot from teaching into a cybersecurity role. And she was able to do that with no previous technical or cybersecurity experience by going through the Springboard Cybersecurity Bootcamp and then finding a job after. So I'd highly recommend checking out that interview and learning about her career path because it's a great way for you to see an example of someone who came in with no experience and then ended up starting their entry-level role in cybersecurity. And I believe after the bootcamp program, she had more than one offer for an entry-level role, which is really awesome. So I'd highly recommend checking that out. All right, let's go over the second certification on this list, and that is the IS C2 Certified in Cybersecurity Certification. So the CC certification is relatively new compared to the Security Plus, of course, but I will say that they're doing a huge move right now by giving away 1 million CC certification exam waivers for free. So I have a video on my channel comparing and contrasting the CompTIA Security Plus as well as the ISC2 CC certification. So I would watch that video to understand the differences between the exams, what they cover, as well as the overall job outlook. But I will say, that I do think that the IC2 is giving away these free waivers. And one of the biggest reasons is likely to make the certification popular enough with entry-level candidates so that recruiters and hiring managers start adding them to the job listings that are hiring for these entry-level and early career cybersecurity roles. Of course, it's so amazing that they're giving away free cybersecurity exam vouchers. And I believe this was originally announced last year. So if you're currently watching this video, I would definitely try to take the exam as soon as you can, just so you make it, just just because of course right now it's free so you really have nothing to lose and there are some overlapping concepts with the security plus so it could be some extra exam prep on both sides and it never hurts to get two certifications on your resume rather than just one now i've made previous videos on cybersecurity beginner certifications but i will say that many of them still don't really compare to the security plus when you consider the number of jobs that are actually looking for these certifications for example the GIAC gsec certification is one that i've mentioned in previous videos but it's nowhere near as common to see that certification on a job listing compared to the security plus which is just the most popular certification out there. Now in a few years, this could change with the ISC2 CC certification, which if you didn't already know, the ISC2 is the creator of the CISSP certification, which is one of the most popular mid-level to senior level cybersecurity certifications out there. And I would say that this does give ISC2 a huge leg up in terms of having an overall reputation. The biggest thing to note is that the ISC2 CC certification, the topics focus a bit more on the blue team side of things compared to the CompTIA Security Plus. So depending on what area of cybersecurity that you're most interested in, whether it be offensive or defensive security, that may also give you an idea of which certification will be able to be the most helpful for you, depending on whatever role that you're most interested in. The last cybersecurity certificate online that I want to talk about is the Google Cybersecurity Certification. This certificate is very popular for beginners. It is a six-month program, fully online, self-paced, and covers common and foundational cybersecurity concepts like Linux, SQL, cyber risks, and cyber threats, as well as attacks and mitigations. I also have many videos covering what concepts the Google Cybersecurity Professional Certificate covers. So I'll link those videos down in my description as well, but it really depends on what you're looking for. As you can see from this video, there are certificates, boot camps, courses, and different programs. And the main thing that I recommend is to look for the learning path that makes the most sense for you and how much time you can dedicate into studying depending on where you currently are. Whether you're currently working part-time, full-time, a student, these will make the biggest impacts on what your next steps will be, as well as which certificate will make the most sense for you. The Google Cybersecurity Professional Cert is a very popular beginner certificate. And while it's not a certificate that you may commonly see on a job listing like the CompTIA Security Plus, I do think that it's so worth looking over if you find that the curriculum covers skills and topics that you're personally interested in in cybersecurity. All right, so that is it for this video. Let me know if you have any other questions in the comments below and I'll be happy to answer them. And 
And don't forget to check out the Springboard Cybersecurity Bootcamp that'll also prepare you for the CompTIA Security Plus certification with a money-back guarantee, career support with a mentor and career guidance, as well as hands-on technical cybersecurity projects. You can also get $1,000 off of the entire bootcamp using my code with Sandra, and I would love to hear your experience after completing the program if you decide to go through it. Thank you guys again so much for watching, and if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and share it with someone who may also be interested in a career in cybersecurity. I post videos weekly, and hopefully I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!